Hello, Jam Studio. In the assignment you have given me, you ask me to, and I quote, include any relevant notes or comments regarding your model and texturing process. Instead of typing up a document, I decided to record everything I have done to showcase the 3D assignment you have given me. Enjoy! I started off blocking the character out and finding the primary shapes within. I wanted to try and make this completely in Maya and only bring it into ZBrush if I absolutely had to. Figuring out the hands and arms was a little difficult to model, but I managed fine towards the end. I modeled the character in T-Pose so it could be passed on to the next department to be rigged properly. Because Grimace is such a symmetrical character, I only had to model half of him at a time. If this was just a static character, I probably would have deleted some geometry underneath his feet and underneath his pelvis. However, I intended for this character to be rigged and potentially used in a game or a scene. After doing all the hard work on Grimace's hands and getting the body looking right, I got to the fun part and started to model the face. Sometimes your model doesn't really look like anything without eyes or a face. Adding even the eyes added some life into this model. Right now, I am just finessing a few things and figuring out the mouth area. I have rigged the mouth open and wide to accommodate for the six expressions given to me in the concept art. This helps the next department rig the character appropriately.
I unwrapped Grimace like any other human character. I found it worked best even if you could see the odd seam here and there. Usually seams are hidden on human characters by clothing. What was so great about only modeling half of Grimace is that I only needed to unwrap half of them too. It made the whole process a lot faster and smoother. I did actually try to rig Grimace. I tried Maya's Quick Rig and Mixamo, which is a program online. I think if I had a bit more of a keen eye for rigging, I might have been able to get it done. Grimace is also a pretty dynamic shape too. The body of this monster isn't like a human body, which I think for someone who doesn't know much about rigging, it's, it's kind of hard to do. The next thing I decided to do was model a vintage Mickey D's. I thought it would be cool to have a bit of an environment for Grimace. I thought it would bring the character alive a bit more. This didn't take too long and because it's not the main focus of this video, I will be skipping through it a bit more. For surfacing, I used Substance Painter and for the base material, I used a Smart Material. I created a while ago and that I've used in many of my own personal projects by following a tutorial by a YouTuber called Stylized Station. To give Grimace's body a bit more of a texture, I found an up-close picture of a shagged carpet and used the old program Crazy Bump to make the normal map. After surfacing and exporting my maps, I plugged them into Arnold's AI standard surface and rendered a few test images. One thing I wanted to test out was how everything looked in a game engine, so I brought everything into Unreal Engine. I wanted to see Grimace in a familiar environment, that's why I modeled the vintage McDonald's. So I plugged everything in and took a few beauty shots and voila! Still a little empty, but you get the gist. I usually start off with a general sky dome light and then add the three point lights in. No light is completely white, say that three times fast. So I chose a warmer color, an orange tinted light for the main light sources. I also chose orange because it is a complementary color to the shade of purple Grimace is. When in doubt, try to light with the complementary colors. Guaranteed, your scene will look great. That about does it for this video. Thank you to Jam Studio for the challenge, and thank you to Mel for keeping me motivated during this project. Until the next one, take care. Do you think Grimace has to like Mickey D's? What if he likes In-N-Out Burger or Burger King or Shake Shack better? Ba-da-ba-ba-don't. Ha <laughs> ha.